What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense of Best coming at you with another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about the short interest of AMC, the days to cover, what does it mean, and what are these YouTubers talking about, all right? Listen, people, there comes a time when we have to grow the hell up in our understanding and our wisdom and our knowledge, okay? And those that just get stuck left in that bullshit that they've been talking for two years, hollering about, had the shorts covered? Yeah, they fucking covered. And what they didn't cover yet, Adam Aaron gave to them in a 10 to 1 reverse stock split. All right? Because when you did the reverse stock split, you erased 90% of the short interest. I told y'all that in this video right here. And I did this video six months ago to show y'all what the short interest would look like, okay, after the reverse stock split and what was going on, all right? Now, 148.6 million shares had been sold short before the reverse stock split. After the reverse stock split, you just subtract a zero, and you would have been 14.8 million shares sold short, all right, with a short interest of 28.8%. After the reverse stock split, that meant that they erased 133 million short positions, all right? And like I explained in this video, that in so doing, their cost average went up also. Like, say, for example, back then, what if they were short $7 and they did a reverse stock split, all right? Their average went up from 7 to 70 and look what they've done to the price again, people. This was a win-win for them. But it was worse because then we had 6.9 million new shares added to our float because of the settlement. So that lowered the percentage of short interest. Okay, can you understand that? That brought our standing shares to 60 million and a 14.8 million shares sold short. So now it went down to 24.67% interest from 28. Then you had to take into consideration what they were short in ape whenever they did the conversion, and they had to take care of those too. I showed y'all that in this video. When the rubber met the road and everything was done, the short interest was 9.87 after the reverse stock split and the conversion and the adding of the settlement shares. All right. The new short interest at that point became 9.87. I go from six months ago, and you look at Pintel today, and you see what? Interest. The short interest is at 9.62%, the same as it's been, all right? 1.6 days to cover. I've taught y'all what that means. That depends on what the volume is. If the volume was to dry up all of a sudden today, the days to cover would jump to six, all right? Or if the volume spiked up for a couple of days, then the days to cover would fall, all right? So these are fallacies, people, that they want you and me to be paying attention to when CSI understands the days to cover. I've showed y'all a video where one stock's days to cover was like 66 days, all right? So, days to cover means nothing. I understand what it means. It means that's how much further the bank's getting away from their money. And the bigger the days to cover happens, the more the banks are calling saying, hey, we need our fucking money from the hedge funds. But people, it's a fallacy. Have y'all not understood after three fucking years of hearing this bullshit about short interest and or when the short's going to cover and people put out videos talking about 3 million more shares of AMC have been sold short. What they don't tell you though, people, is how many did they cover? They don't know. And they refuse to tell you. All they want to do is make videos to get you riled up. And I don't understand why they refuse to tell you the truth. But they're lying to you people. Almost every single one of them. Alright. Simply for a click and a view. You would mislead the people into believing that every single fucking day. That millions of shares of AMC are being shorted. And that's not the case. You can't say that these are being shorted if you're not going to say what they covered. And you don't know what they covered.
I mean, okay? You'll see a YouTuber or hear a YouTuber make a comment. City Group is so short, AMC. Oh, and they are our prime banker. And I ask them when I get them on the phone or on a live stream or anywhere I'm texting or whatever, what are they long? And I always get the same response. What do you mean, CSI? You're telling me they're short. What are they long? I don't know. Well, then if you don't know if they're long, you don't know if their short position is simply a hedge. So you're misleading the people by saying that Citigroup is short AMC, and you're not talking about their long position. All right? That's misleading people, and that people just refuse to accept the truth. And here's another good one. Everybody screams about why isn't that... Uh, the SEC doing anything about the criminality in the market. I bring to everybody's attention. It's not the SEC's job to fix that. It's the New York Stock Exchange job to fix that. All right? They are not supposed to be letting it go on in their market. They are letting it go on in their market. They are the ones responsible. And you know what I get told? Well, maybe they not doing anything wrong on the New York Stock Exchange. Maybe that's why the New York Stock Exchange hadn't done anything about it. What are you fucking serious? You think Ken Griffin's got his server parked next to the server at the New York Stock Exchange and ain't fuckery going on? But they refuse to admit when they're wrong and they refuse to look at it from a different perspective and so they stay blind. And you got a choice. Are you going to stay blind and refuse to acknowledge the facts of this case so that we can get this thing over with and get our fucking money back? And I had a long talk with ChatGPT about short positions and shit and exactly what did that mean. And I asked him, and ChatGPT said, like you know, that it's when they sell a stock and they're supposed to borrow it and... They hope the price goes down, can buy it back, and return a share and make a profit. Y'all know that. But that's not what being short really is. Being short simply means you sold a position that you did not have the share for. All right? And we get the definition of short selling fucked up when we think, oh, well, that means they got to borrow it. And that's what ChatGPT kept telling me. And I'm going to explain how that conversation went in the next video because it's, it was a really good conversation. And when I got through, ChatGPT said, CSI, you right. And I said, you motherfucking right. I know I'm right. When the pieces of the puzzle are on the table, you can't help but see the correct picture, people, when it's put together. And I'm going to show share with y'all what me and ChatGPT discuss, and I'm going to explain what it means to be short and why it is such a bad thing right now in our market. And it's very important, so don't miss that video. So with that, and don't forget, if you haven't already went and read the eBooks over on Amazon, you can read them free if you're an Amazon Kindle Unlimited member, or you can go to the Discord, the link's down below. Buy the bundle for six dollars, both books, one's on AMC, one's on GME, and I'm working on the third one right now. Love y'all, be blessed, and I'll see you in the next video.